It is week six after my surgery. I um, just got back from the doctor and we had a fill done. We had a very large fill done. They wound up doing 105 cc's in each breast, which is way more than I have had. What they were trying to do is get me caught up from where I've been so far behind because of the second surgery that I had to have. And as you can tell, I have got cleavage. So, um, I'm two days, well, I say I'm just back home, I'm two days from my doctor's appointment, and the day after my fill, it was unbelievably sore. Like, they hurt so bad because they're so heavy. One thing about expanders is, is that they're very thick plastic, and they don't move as much as an implant does. Um, so, when you get fills, they get heavy and they get hard, and... So that's one thing you'll have to get used to after every fill. Um, I'm probably going to have maybe two more fills. I'm about where I want to be, which is a B cup. Um, I'll see after I get the next fill done. They did go in. I did have some more or some of the glue left on my incisions, and they went ahead. She went ahead and tore them off. I'll be honest with you, it didn't hurt, but. To me, it just felt gross. It felt like she was like peeling off a layer of skin. It just kind of grossed me out, but it didn't hurt. And my incisions look absolutely amazing. Very happy with how they look. One of the things that the nurse told me to do was to make sure that I start doing vitamin E on my incisions. And what I did is we just went to the dollar store and got a bottle of it's like liquid vitamin E and I just put it on my, I'll just put it on my incisions every night. And then also you never want your uh, nipples to get too dried out. So they told me to put coconut oil on my nipples. Uh, honestly, I do it. If I'm taking a shower at night, I'll put it on or in the morning, I'll put it on. But I try to keep that coconut oil on my nipples just so there's no drying out whatsoever. Um, the expanders, when you look at my breast, um, the expanders themselves, they're never perfectly round. You have indents and they pop and they move and you get used to that. So if if you're going into this and you are a week or two into and you start getting feels and you get very anxious about the expanders being in you, just remember hang in there because it will get better and the pain and the uncomfortableness uncomfortableness will get a lot better it just takes time so just kind of brace yourself and go i can get through this because um, you're hopefully not far from getting your implants put in um they're what they're saying is i'll have you know two or three more fills and then after the very last fill they will set up my surgery for my implants which is usually four months after my last fill Another thing that we got to do is I am now in a regular cami. It is just, it's got this, I, I actually went and bought the ones with the self bra, which is what they wanted, but I actually did padding also because some people say that their, um, their expanders get cold. So I'm like, mm, it wouldn't hurt to have the extra padding. I honestly have not had my expanders get cold. But I have hot flashes all the time, so, <laughs> you know, I don't get cold too often. So, so when they say, finally say you can go into a cami with a self bra, get some with padding and some without. I even have some camis that do not have the built-in shelf because at nighttime I still like the support of the cami, but I don't like the shelf rubbing on my incisions. So it kind of gives you a break from things rubbing on your incisions all the time because they can still get a little irritable. So just kind of pick you up and always make sure you go maybe like one size down than what you had normally wore or are normally wearing. That way it doesn't let your expanders move around too much and you just got like a good solid piece of clothing on you. The camis that I choose to wear are cotton just because they feel better on me. You might want to try spandex or whatever other materials they have out there. Um, just see whatever fits you best or what you feel more comfortable in. And make sure that they compress, they have good compression. 
up top for you. Just make sure it fits you tight enough to where you're not going to move around too much. And I'm actually starting to sleep on my side. Um, I actually, well, a couple things, sorry, getting ahead of myself. Um, I'm now sleeping in my bed. Yay, so nice. Um, I can turn on my side a little bit. Um, and I, hopefully over time that'll get better. So the, the problem is once you get on your side, it feels like you kind of this move your expander moves. I don't think it'll ever move all the way to your side, but it just kind of feels like that. So it feels like it's gonna pinch it, but it I don't think it does. It just is uncomfortable to me. So no matter what side I get on, I have to like kind of adjust myself. But it's so nice to be back in bed and not in the recliner anymore. Um, so when I go back, I will get another fill. Um, yeah, that's about it for this one. Um, ladies, if you're going through this, keep your chin up. You've got this, and it's all going to be good in the long run. Um, please subscribe to me. Comments, co uh, questions, anything below. Thank